What's up everybody? Derek here. I hope you guys are having a great day and I hope you've been out there doing some fishing. I know I have, but it's been extremely hot and humid. So guys, make sure you stay well hydrated. However, I'm not fishing that day. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> but hey, anyway, I am here because I want to share something with you guys that I recently discovered. Okay, so you see I got a coat hanger in front here in front of me. So this is part of this tutorial. It involves a coat hanger. All right, so uh, my wife, she recently went to the dry cleaners to uh, pick up her garments, right? And when she got home, she threw a coat hanger away in the trash. Now, I did not know this, so I went uh, to go throw something away in the trash. And when I went to go open up the lid, I found a coat hanger in there. So I'm thinking, why is this coat hanger in there? You know, it's going to puncture a hole in the bag, and then when I go pull the trash bag out, Stuff is going to leak all over the floor. How many of you have been there? <laughs> so anyway, I took the, the uh, coat hanger out of the trash. And when I took the coat hanger out, uh, an idea came to my head. And that's the thing, guys. I get these ideas that come in my head uh, randomly uh, sometime. How many of you get random thoughts? <laughs> anyway, I get, I'm always thinking, like, how can I improve something? How can I make something better? So... Um, I'm standing there in the kitchen, you know, inspecting this hanger, uh, you know, turning it over, looking at it from all angles, like, what can I do with this hanger? And then this idea came to my head. I thought to myself, you know, well, uh, I wonder how this hanger is attached to this piece of cardboard. So I grabbed a pair of scissors out of the drawer and I went ahead and just cut here in between um, this piece of cardboard here because I wanted to pull off the ends. And so... Um, when I pulled off the ends, uh, you would not believe what was revealed to me now. So we're going to walk over here to the kitchen so I can show you guys, um, what was revealed and what we're going to make out of this wire coat hanger. So let's go. Okay. So I'm here in the kitchen guys. And, uh, you see here's the hanger and now I'm going to take these scissors here, uh, that I got out of the drawer and I'm just going to cut this and show you guys, you see, there's no wire in between here, right? See that? Now, this is what I discovered. Check this out. Look at that. Okay. And I'm going to show you what that, what, I'm gonna pull this end off of this one. There we go. Both ends are off. So we have this end right here that's shaped like that. And this end is shaped, they're both identical, right? Now, if I turn it this way, vertical, what do you have? And I'm going to show you some guys something. Check this out. It almost resembles this right here which is a fish dehooking device, okay? So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you guys how to, uh, how to make one of these um, for as little as nothing, right? So since this is already shaped into the hooking mechanism, you're just going to further shape it into like uh, however, however you want it, right? However um, narrow or wide you want it. So you just take some pliers I'm just going to take these pliers here and I'm just going to just squeeze it to where I think it's, you know, that I want it. Look at that. There we go. Now look at this. I'm going to show you guys something. I'm going to move this out the way. I'm going to bring back this dehooking device. Look at that. You see that guys? Identical, right? And it's already naturally got a hook here, right? It's everything's there. Look at that. Now all we got to do is take our Dremel tool, right? I'm going to cut with my Dremel tool right here. I'm going to cut right here. So let me get my Dremel tool and I'll show you guys. I'm going to cut right here about probably, uh, what, six or seven inches up. All right. All right. So now I am going to take um, this wire and I'm going to cut it like right here. With this Dremel tool here. Cut this on here. There's one end. So if you want to make uh, a shorter, um, you know, length, this is shortly. If you want to make a longer one, then what you would want to do is, I guess you take 
this and just straighten this out and make it longer. So I'll take my pliers here. I'll take my pliers and uh, I'm just going to bend this like this. Straighten it out. Kind of make it longer there like this. Just like this. See, now I'm going to cut it right here. Or, you know, if you don't have, if you don't have access to a wooden handle or a dowel rod, you can just use this right here. This, you can just use this portion of the hanger itself. This portion, all, you'd ha all I would do is just straighten it up like this. I'd cut this, I'll show you guys. I'd cut this off right here. Okay, so I've cut I cut that off. Move this out the way that's hot. I cut that off like that. And then all I would do is just straighten this up like this. And look at that. You already got your handle here. See it's curved. You already have your handle, right? Look at that. And then you have your hooking device. So look at that. You don't even need to to uh, get a, a wooden dowel rod and saw it in half and do all that stuff. You could just use this like this, you know, and then you have, you could pull, right? So now you have your fish, right? And you stick this down there in this gill plate or down in his mouth and, and you just, you know, you put it down in there and just kind of turn it like this and then pull out and then go out. So there, that don't cost nothing. You can just get the hanger itself and build it like that. Look at that. A natural dehooking device, guys. Don't cost you a penny. All right? Just a hanger itself and some ingenuity. And there you have it for that. Now, we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to get this dowel rod. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it with the dowel rod. I have a dowel rod here. All right? And what I'm going to do is I am going to take this dowel rod. Let's move. Let me get some room here. I want to take this dowel rod here and I've already measured because I just want to make a five inch handle. So I've already measured that out and basically I want to put that right there. Got my saw here and basically all I'm going to do, if you guys can see me here, uh, probably be best if I do it from this, if I do it from this angle. And you guys can see it better this way. This way. All right, so what I'm going to do is let's find my angle there. Right there it is. Right there. Just like that. Okay. There's my mark right there. All right. Now all I'm going to do, guys, is I am going to cut. I'm going to cut right here. Okay, so I'm going to cut this right here like this. There we go. Now, I got me a handle here. Here's my handle right here. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece right here and then I'm going to drill a hole right here and I'm going to stick this down in there. So I'm going to show you guys. Uh, let me, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, while I'm at it, I'm going to shape this. Uh, you see this end is right here is wide. All I'm going to do is take the pliers like I did before. I'm just going to squeeze it together like, like this, just like that. There we go. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. Now I'm going to get my drill and I'm going to drill a hole right in there. Okay, so I have my drill here. And uh, let's see. So I probably just need, I'm going to go with, uh, so I need it big enough to be able to get the glue down there and make it stick. This is a 316th. So we're going to 316th uh, drill bit here. Now, before I make this hole in this, uh, before I make this hole in this, what I am going to do because I got some sandpaper here and I'm just going to 
this is just me. I'm just going to smooth out this, this uh, so I don't splinter my hand here. I'm just going to smooth it out. There we go. We're smooth. We got a nice smooth, nice smooth edge there. There we go. All right. Now I'm just going to take my drill bit here, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a, uh, I'm going to pre-drill a small hole in there. That way I won't splinter the wood. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to mark where I'm going to drill it at. What I'm going to do is I'm going to measure just so I can find the center. So and I'm just eyeballing this guys. I'm just eyeballing it. So we're going to go right here like this. And then we're going to do a cross just like this. All right, there we go. So the center is going to be like right here, right? There's the center. All right. Now I'm going to drill a hole right there. Let's move this out the way. All right. So I'm just going to drill a hole right here. So let's see here. We're going to go down this way like this. You want to drive that drill bit all the way down in there. Now. All right. So now let's see here. You guys can see it's taking shape. So I'm going to stick this down in there like that. You see that now. <clears throat> I'm going to go deeper there. There we go. Let's see here. That's looking about right. It's taking shape. Now, I'm going to drill the hole a little bit bigger now that I got that pre-drilled so I won't splinter the wood. And we're gonna go, I might change this. Yeah, we'll, we'll do the 316s, why not? <clears throat> we'll go down there deeper like this. Just like that. Now, so you see I have that in there like that right now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you guys so look we got our hole in there we got our hole right there we have this in there right now what we're going to do is we're going to set that so what we're going to do is we're going to get a, our glue gun okay we can get our glue gun okay so we got our glue gun here and uh let me get this cord off here real quick Okay, so we got our glue gun. All right, this is one of those high, um, uh, high-end glue guns, high temp. So what we're going to do is we are going to stick these glue sticks in here. Glue stick, surrender glue stick. So you're going to take your glue, your glue uh, stick here. You're going to stick it in your gun here, just like so. There we go. All right, here we go. So we're just going to take this glue down in here like this. We're going to I'm going to put some down in there like this down in that hole. I'm going to stick this right down in there like this. Okay. Now then I'll go ahead and uh, just seal that up around that like that. That's going to set. Go. 
go. All right. Now when that dries, Let it dry here real quick. Let's see here. All right, so that that's dry. So anyway, so that's what it looked like. Look at that. Now I'm going to compare and show you guys. So I have a bigger one here, and then I have this smaller one here. All right. Didn't cost much to make this one. Like I said, you can either you can you can even do it. You can even do it this way. You can even just take the hanger itself. It already has a nice mechanism on there with a hook where you can just grab it right there like that. And actually, actually, that feels better to do it like that. I mean, look at that. I can just grab it and like that. This don't call this this method right here don't cost nothing. All you do is you take, like I said, you cut that off. Excuse me. You take that off, and then all you're going to do is you're going to take your pliers and just make sure you, you know. You um, you squeeze this according to your specifications, right? If you want it wider, you can have it wider, but that's how I did it to kind of mimic this right here, right? To kind of mimic that. You see that one's a little narrower right there, so I just made it like that. But it already has this natural hook right there, so um, that's that. All right. And there's that. So here's three different types. Here's the store-bought brand. Here's the homemade uh, dehooking device, and then here's just uh, out of a hanger itself. Zero cost. Uh, only thing I pay for here is a dowel rod, which cost me. You get like a uh, a, a uh, four foot dowel rod here. Okay, you can see how long it is. It's pretty long. All right. This cost me uh, seven dollars at Ace Hardware. And all I did was cut it in five inch. Uh, you see, I cut it into like a little five inch piece there, handle. And then I went ahead and used a glue gun to put it in there. So there it is, guys. I hope you guys learned something from this. I hope you were able to uh, go out and make these your own without having to go to the store and spend money out of your pocket. Um, so if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to click that bell. Make sure your notifications are turned on so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. That's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.